Welcome to St John's for our weekly update. Uh, today I'm in the north aisle of the cathedral and behind me you can see pictures from the QSEN, the Queensland Church's Environmental Network Exhibition. Each year in September we host an exhibition on behalf of QSEN as part of our observance of the season of creation. The season of creation is a season that has emerged in the life of the church as the church understands that it needs to be an active uh, partner in how we deal with and engage with the environmental crises of our time, both the ecological crisis and of course climate change which is part of the ecological crisis. So every year from the 1st of September, which is the Orthodox uh, Creation Day, through to the Feast of St Francis, the 4th of October, the great uh, saint of the West, who was who's sort of like the patron saint of ecology, uh, each year we observe this season and reflect on how our faith speaks to the way in which we interact with the environment and also how the environment helps to shape our understanding of who we are and therefore the gift of our faith. One of the important gifts we celebrate as Christians is the gift of community and those of us who are part of the St John's community are incredibly aware of how important it is to be part of this group of people who nourish and nurture each other. An eclectic group that uh, helps it helps one another find the gift of life. A number of us have been part of a project uh, called the Resource Church Project, which has been based here at the Cathedral, which has been enabling uh, a number of faith communities throughout the diocese to, en to, to look at uh, ways of engaging more deeply in what is emerging in their place. The small team based here at St John's looking at our community has realised that one of the uh, gifts we can share with one another is the gift of our stories, our stories of how we have been engaged by and engaged with the cathedral community. So to that end there is a survey that has been produced which is designed to capture some of those stories. The stories of how we came to be here, the stories of what keeps us here. You'll find uh, in the weekly update that comes out by email a link to the survey. There will also be copies of the survey available in physical form for those who want to fill it in on a piece of paper. And if you're watching this uh, message and you aren't receiving the weekly email or uh, you don't have access to the physical uh, form, please do send us an email and we will send you a link. There are a few things coming up in the life of uh, the community over the next few days. Uh, tomorrow, Friday night, the girl choristers will be offering the service of light. The service of light is a beautiful service, uh, sung service to end the day. It prefigures the Eucharist of the next day. It's one of the ways in which we observe the fact that uh, the day has a beautiful rhythm to it and so the service of light is an anticipatory service of the day that is yet to come. It's a way of uh, moving into the evening with a sense of tomorrow brings promise. So um, I encourage you to be here tomorrow at six to join the girls, the girl choristers. It's an absolutely uh, amazing service and a lovely addition to the life of the cathedral. Then on Saturday, uh, Ananda will be joining with the young professionals of the United Nations Association to uh, offer yoga here in St John's. So if you'd like to be part of that, uh, please do come along. And then on the Sunday afternoon, the journey returns. Uh, the journey is the opportunity we have to reflect on a Sunday afternoon on our baptism, the call God places on our lives and to engage with scripture. The uh, journey group is offered on Zoom and is an amazing community uh, and, and produces um, really deep conversation. So that's uh, from four o'clock to five o'clock on Sunday afternoon.
I'm also mindful that uh, Saturday is the 20th anniversary of the attack on the Twin Towers, the September 11 attacks as they have become known. Uh, as we are all aware that those attacks on the Twin Towers in New York have uh, really shaped or reshaped much of the life of the world, um, both the attacks and the response of the uh, American people and our own people to those attacks. And so as we mark the 20th anniversary, it's certainly uh, a day that we should be giving over to reflection, uh, asking the question of how we can become peacemakers, because one of the things that has become clear as a result of September 11 is that um, an eye for an eye does make the whole world blind. Um, uh, violence, begetting violence, does make the world less secure, and we actually live in a far less secure world than we did 20 years ago. So there's much for us to uh, reflect on. It's another example of complexity. Um, some of the responses have been really simplistic and simplistic responses lead us deeper into trouble. So it's a, really a day for us to reflect deeply as uh, Christians on the call to be peacemakers and a reminder that making peace is an active process, not just being um, peaceful and passive. And so one of the conversations um, I would appreciate us having and certainly hope the world will be having will, it will be about uh, how do we be peacemakers in a world that is prone to violence. And a reminder that each Thursday we host English Conversations. Uh, English Conversations are held to be a gift to people who are seeking to uh, develop their English language skills. Uh, the small team that offers English Conversations is uh, very open to being joined by others who will help them support those who come to us uh, for that sort of very basic support. Uh, language is such an important tool in finding our way through life. So if you'd like to know more about English Conversations, please do be in touch or turn up one Thursday to see what happens. In terms of celebrations this week, we say happy birthday to... Graham Smith, Richard Fay, Josh Malherb and Zachary Samuels. And we hope that you have a great day. Thank you for all that you do for the life of this community. Uh, we are moving through this wonderful season, the season of creation together, as we appreciate the gift of life and the gift of being part of the web of life. Uh, the web of life extends into the life of the cathedral community and that web uh, relies on connections. So thank you for being part of the fabric that uh, knits us together and allows us to allow one another and enable each other to flourish. Peace be with you.